Good day folks, this is Matthew with River Ponics. This is my outdoor setup. And as you can see, I have bigger containers. I'm doing the wicking like I normally would. Um, this is what I prefer to do is outdoor grow or in a greenhouse. Things do a heck of a lot better with Mother Nature's natural light, right? And just the being in the natural environment. So this is, all my systems are indoor, outdoor. Um, but this shows you the diversity that you can apply with these growth systems. And uh, that's a 27 gallon container. And these are 17. And I think this is roughly about 17 as well. I don't remember off the top of my head. But and then I have um, smart pots. And this is soilless here. So the rest of them are all filled with soil. They're all wicking from the bottom up, including the uh, smart pots. Now I did run a tube for doing drippers for the soilless, but um, I came up with a mix that seems to be working real well just wicking up from the bottom up from the channels up into the smart uh, pots so you can walk down here and as you can see I, don't, I just disconnected it I had it hooked up at one time and I capped it off that one is soil but these are soilless here and I'm doing doing a lot of peppers um, these are bell peppers here. You got yellow squash there. There's habanero and cucumbers over there. Um, jalapenos. Um, Pablimos. Doing um, some big tomato plants. It's a German queen. Produces really big fruit. These are, that's a beef master. A bush goliath here and then just the Roma. So. This is the patented brewer. This is where it's being fed from. Um, in order to make this outdoor, you can see the um, only thing you have to really worry about is, the, is your um, air pump. And normally, this device here is what would suck the air in, and then it pushes the air out into the brewer, right? So, when you get torrential rains and stuff, water would suck up in there and ruin your pump. So what you do is just attach a uh, tube onto there, and you just conceal it underneath the brewer so water can't get to it and get sucked into the air pump. And other than that, everything else is waterproof. Um, I do have a little seep hole here for overflow because water will um, saturate through the soil and get down into the channels. You know, just um, overflow out, not a big deal at all. Then I'm coming off my brewer on the back side and feeding each grow channel. And then it serpentines through all the grow channels and then you can see the two inch pipe below comes back into the into the reservoir and this is self-watering too you can see back here there's a float valve inside the reservoir and we'll follow that tube and it goes over to my garden hose there in the corner and hooks up so it is a self-watering system real user-friendly Easy to operate. Um, pretty nice. You don't have to worry about pulling weeds. Um, it's elevated off the ground, so you don't have to worry about varmints, rabbits, and stuff like that. Uh, it takes care of itself. Even if you had a power outage or something, there's always going to be water in your channels, in your, um, your soil saturated. So it's going to give you... A week or more if um, you're away out of town or something like that and and had some type of you know power failure or, or 
component failure or something like that, you know, versus having drippers or something like that, you would more likely lose your crap. So I'm just using tubes. I'm using tandem tubes in case one gets clogged up kind of thing. It's just going in the channels. Now these here I'm using um, larger wicking cups I'm using three inch and I just have two two for each channel or one for each channel so I have two and then uh, this one here I got um, I'm using actually these here two inch net cups and there's four of them in the bottom going into the grow channels and then these here just have two two smaller ones for wicking purposes I can show you as well. So I got starters, lettuce starters I'm using, and I'm just using the cocoa core in there. And um, gonna have a food source growing out of the side of the containers too. I didn't want to get too carried away. I could have put net cups all the way through here. You know, I got the holes, but like these holes, I just screened over. You know, so it's makes it good for aeration, but. Uh, yeah, this is kale. These are kale starters coming in. More there, lettuce. So you could do this with all your containers if you really wanted to. It just depends on how, how much time you have and how carried away you want to get with all this. So these pipes here, just a frame. <laughs> That's all it is, just a frame. That might be a future greenhouse. It has absolutely nothing to do with my grow system. It's just there and this was the place to put my grow system. Um, one thing though, I do have a, a really big oak tree there that blocks the sun. So this only gets partial sun. This will start getting sun about one o'clock in the afternoon onward. So it's part shade so that's the only downfall of where I've had this set up but that's fine everything's still doing fine growing and getting bigger and I think that covers it I think probably left out some things I'll be doing some stuff in the future updates and you know if I left out something hopefully I'll cover it in my next video So, all right well thanks for watching please subscribe um, I do sell just individual grow channels as well too so you can see the versatility you can do with this you know you could use different types of frame I do have a leak there so out of all the, the end fittings 12 end fittings I have one that leaks so that just shows that I am not perfect <laughs> But yeah, so there's a lot of different setups you can do. I mean, just setting this up, I, I noticed um, there's things I could do different, especially on a larger scale. <laughs> These grow channels, um, I can get them in whatever size, but it has to be, it would be a special order and you have to order a, a quantity of them. But I can, you know, I can get these things 60 foot long if I wanted to. You could also couple them together. I do have couplings where you can couple these together. But these are 12 foot, and in the future, as far as on a commercial scale, I'd probably make them 13 foot and extend it out where the um, drain pipe is. And that way my drain pipe's on the outside of the frame instead of running underneath. It would just make things a lot easier. All right, well, thanks for watching. See ya.